It is a joy to my heart to share with you about one of the great, great men of our times. A guy that was a leader as a speaker, as a thinker, as a philosopher, as a marketer, as a salesman, as an innovator. Somebody that made a seminar business bigger, better, sounder, stronger than anyone else on the planet. Now, when Jim used to start talking, Mr. Rowan always said, well, who am I? And I come from Idaho and a little place that nobody knows about. Well, in his essence, let me say that I was born in a blue collar city, sort of like Idaho, except it's Waukegan, Illinois. My dad was a Danish immigrant baker and taught my brothers and me that pride of ownership always and only follows pride of earnership, which meant basically you could have anything you wanted as long as you earned it. Because Jim started what you're about to experience on philosophy, which is a directional compass for your life, for your relationships, for your affairs, for your spirit, socially, mentally, physically. And he always said, we ought to take care of the full man and, and fill the richness and fullness of our destination. Now, the richest man of all time was said to be Solomon in the Bible. And he said in Psalm 72, you ought to be an influencer of influencers. Well, that's exactly what Jim was. His philosophy was so solid, so rock hard, so clear and so clean and so obvious, so transparent that he shared it with all of us. And he was literally an influencer of influencer, 10 or 12 different talks a month, sometimes in 10 or 12 different countries. We'd be traveling and we'd be talking in, in uh, Dallas and he'd say, well, I'm leaving for Brazil. Then I go right to Israel. Then I go right to India and right to Japan. So what we're talking on here is embarking on an expanding and ever improving life. A journey that you study all the teachings and the teachers that are now standing on Jim's shoulders, my peers that are introducing every one of these segments. Rowan understood that we can change the course of our lives by changing ourselves inside out, how we look at things. His beauty of philosophy was that he said, you only gotta know a half dozen things. Jim says it's so easy to succeed in America because it's America. You can't do it in Bangladesh, you can't do it in Cambodia, you can't do it most places in the world. That's why people work hard to come here. And the kids, then he's talking to the teenagers, I say, well, if it's so easy, why isn't everybody rich like you, Mr. Rowan, and become a millionaire by age 31? He's because it's easy not to. It's easy to neglect those six little disciplines in your health and stay healthy. And once you neglect your health, you start to neglect your wealth. Once you neglect that, you start to spiral down in your relationships and you go through all kinds of problems. So you're either accelerating upwards with not neglect, but desire that makes you go higher and higher, or you go into neglect. The choice, Jim said, is yours. But why not see how much you can do, how much joy you can bring into the world, because the purpose of life is to live fully and have an ever-expanding, delightful life. Some people think they have to be born with certain qualities in order to succeed. Jim said, look, all of us come in over-endowed. The line is greater is he or she that is in you than he or she that is in the world. You all know where that comes from. So it isn't true that you have to have some certain this or some certain in that. And in this module, what Jim teaches is his method of developing a guidance system for success so you make your dreams come true. You avoid danger and you maximize your opportunities to enrich your life and source and serve everyone else to enrich theirs. And he said, here's the biggest clue. You can have what I talked about in academic education, but the more important education, because most people, when school's over, they shut the book and that's it. He said the best education has always been, always will be self-education. Even the richest man in America off and on, Warren Buffett said, always work on yourself first. That's what Jim was saying. You are like the David. You've got to sculpt yourself on a full-time basis and chip out everything that's not David. Zip out the stuff that's not disciplined. Get rid of it. It's one of those six things. Because a formal education, Jim said, gives you a job. Self-education makes you rich. In a formal education, you can make a living. With a self-education, Jim and I have shown an example that you can make a fortune. So I want to share a couple quick stories about Jim and my experience with him that hopefully will resonate from your heart to, from my heart to your heart is what I'm thinking. And you know, 
Jim and I did these leadership seminars around the world and we loved them, we enjoyed them, we thrilled. He said, look, Mark comes in after me and he's like a number five hurricane, which is true. I'm a little bit bombastic and big. But we frequently chatted about a lot of everything. We chatted about sitting on airplanes or sitting at meals. And we talked about how do you make the good life for everyone as we traveled together and thought together and talked out loud together. And I asked him lots of questions like, Jim, how is it you sleep at night? Jim said, I know that God is in control. So when I lay down my head, I sleep like a baby. Jim said, one of my big goals was to have a home in every climate. So I got one here by you here in Southern California. You got one up in Clear Lake, which is where he first learned how to do all this great stuff, Clear Lake, California. Got one in Idaho, and his dad was a mint farmer and made a mint until he died at 93. And then he said, I got one in the warm climate of Phoenix, Arizona. You know, and on his wealth, he said, I can now live on the income of my income, and I knew what that was. And he said, yet I still do 10 or 12 seminars a month around the world, and I keep making more money. I don't need the money, but I want the money, because what does it do? It does for me what I'm telling it can do for other people. Increase your freedom and increase your independence. And that's why when, right here, where I live in Southern California, we drove up to skiing with my kids, and they would be listening to Jim Rowan tapes, and they said, Daddy, why we got to do this? I said, because you got to earn your own freedom and independence, just like my dear friend Jim Rowan's talking about. And both of us had the great benefaction of having great parents that were loving and taught us how to self-create abundance and how to be mentally independent and how to be self-reliant and how to go forward and know that abundance was an inside-out job. Because one of the oldest pieces of spiritual literature says, out of abundance, he or she took abundance, and still abundance remains. And once you got the mindset that Jim and I were teaching about abundance, you could work and create as much abundance as you want. You could go forward and Napoleon Hill, he'd always be quoting, said, anything the mind can conceive and believe it can achieve. And I'm going to add just one other little line, if you'll work at it. Jim and I used to do these seminars. When I first heard about him, he was charging $10 each for adventures and achievement. And I flew from New York to California just to see him. Mike Ferris said, you got to watch this guy work. And then I decided to start selling books. And now I've sold over a half billion books. Almost every one of you has probably got one of my chicken soup for the soul books in your house. And it proves that one man with a big dream and, and giant goals like Jim taught can accomplish anything he or she wants. When all else fails, persistent alone prevails. If you've got a business plan, that's one of the strategies you can't miss if you work with this. That's what Jim and I'd say. So is there a common thread between what Jim was teaching and I'm teaching? Absolutely. We shared the commonalities. We established solid truths and we went to main points and we took quotes from each other. And let me just talk about just abundance here because he had an abundant philosophy like I do. Abundance is a state of mind. I've said abundance is an inside job, inside your mind, inside your imagination, inside your choice of point of view, because you can either think poor and you'll stay poor, or you start abundant thinking, which is a discipline, and there's no limit to how high it can go. One needs to cultivate a point of view to conceive and perceive that abundance is potentially infinite, just like the ocean is relatively infinite, universe is infinite. And there's infinite abundance available to everyone, everywhere, and that includes you. And we're seeing that more now than ever. And we can fully use unlimited thinking that Jim taught, imagination, innovation, and the application of resources, talent, skills, and abilities. So the simple overview of what you want is catch the philosophy here. Philosophy, we said, is a directional compass, and it'll take you far if you get those six basic things in every area, right? And if you don't believe in six basic things, the current guy, it used to be Thomas Edison in America, then it was Steve Jobs. Right now it's Elon Musk with Tesla and SpaceX and all that. And he said, look, all you got to do is get to the fundamentals. Same thing Jim and I are teaching. It's a common misconception that there aren't timeless truths, but we're teaching timeless truths. You are here to be a world changer. And it doesn't matter what your age, your talent, your education, your gender, your race, your connections, your situation, circumstances. Here's what Jim and I would teach you. You can do it. You could say it's the best of times or the worst of times. It's the worst of times for people who think negative. It's the best of times, like Jim and I say, if your philosophy is right, your results are going to be right. And Jim and I want more for you than you want for yourself, as do all my peers that are introducing each of these. Each one of us needs surplus money, surplus credit, financial connections to make our dreams come true. 
So it behaves you to earn, earn, and return, as I've said, and you can do it as you absorb everything that you're gonna be studying here. So I'm excited about all that I'm doing, I'm excited about all that you're gonna be doing, and you're gonna be able to do stuff beyond what Jim and I have done. It said that you meet the same people going up that you meet coming down, Jim I always used to like to say. So the goal is to rise and keep rising. The goal is to get friends, keep friends, add more friends, expand your Rolodex, expand your contact list and your cell phone, and stay in touch with these people. Call one equivalently every day. It's exciting, it's joyful as Jim and I teach to have great friends here, there, and everywhere. And the way you get those is Jim and I taught you just got to be likable. You got to be friendly. You got to be a good guest. And when they come to see you, a good host. And Jim is the example. He is the first best example of somebody that can come from nowhere and go do something great and then inspire you to go forward and move the mountains forward of philosophy and achievement and success. And everybody's got to move forward to see what's possible because for the first time ever in history, all of us can be more than we ever imagined. Succeed more, think more, increase more, be, have more love, have more joy, have more happiness and fulfillment. As you watch my friend start this module on philosophy, understand, give yourself the biggest, the best, the strongest, the hardiest biceps and triceps as you move forward into the philosophy of personal success and achievement because you can do more than you ever imagined.